Hey, how you doing? This is Dwayne Ross, D. Ross, and I am here at the National Fourth Annual uh, Art and Wine. There's a lot of artists here. I'm going to be highlighting the situation for you guys. Just want to let you know that I'm here for Ernesto Rodriguez. Just want to say, hey, man, more power to you and all the work that you're doing in the D.C. community here at Anacostia Art Gallery. And uh, this is amazing. Looking forward to uh, talking more about what's going on and getting him, you know, on front of, in front of this camera so we can talk more about how we're going to make a difference in the lives of these young people. And we can't leave the youth behind because no matter what's going on, guys, we got to stand up to help our young people. we got to make sure that we give them opportunity and help them see themselves in the future. A lot of things are not set up for them, right? So we got to help them see themselves in the future. So I look forward hey. to talking to you guys. Again, just say something to everyone. It's happening going down right here in D.C. And God bless y'all. Yeah, I'm just right here. I'm just right here, man. Just sometimes, you know, it's recording right now. Oh, it's already recording. a little bit. Oh, okay. Get this space. Tell me why, why, you, why you came up with this space. Oh, man. Thank you, first of all, for Brother Dwayne E. Ross. You know, uh, attended uh, this event for us. So this organization is called the Human Resource Achievement Program. Our mission is simple. It's to break the pipeline from school to prison. Break the pipeline from school to prison. In order to do that, we have to raise funds. We have students who are in need. You know, we're right here in Washington, D.C. Right outside of the door right now. The Southeast, Good Oak Road. Some people call it Good Dope Road because of all the, um, um, the heroin addicts that are around here. There's a school right around the corner from there called Anacostia High School. Our kids are having to walk to school, got to go past all these dope things every day. It's a terrible thing. We're trying to clean up the streets. We're trying to help the kids off the streets by doing three things. Providing them with education in, in terms of entrepreneurship, uh, business management as far as human resources is concerned, and as far as um, um, enrichment programs, class assessors, how to read stocks, how to buy car insurance, life insurance, all those kind of things that are life skills that are necessary for them to move forward and change the trajectory of the, of the life path. So please come down, volunteer with us, come grow with us. Our website is www.hraprinc.org. That's H R A P I N C.org. We love you. Come join us. Thank you so very much. Hey, you, you, you need funding too, right? We need funding. So let's talk about the funding and how that's going to happen. Absolutely. Right? So our program is totally free. Right? We pay the students to come to class. We pay them in terms of a meal. We give them a free meal. And if they need transportation, we provide also a smart trip card. All this we offer totally free. Totally free. So in order to do this and continue to do this and grow this, we, um, we partner with different organizations like the Anacostia Art Center that allow us to come in here and put together this wonderful event. Um, we raise money by doing fundraisers such as these, the Art and Wine Silent Auction. If you go to our website, we also ask for funding in terms of um, scholarships. We need money for food. We need money for clothing. Anything that you can provide for us. We need money. We need support. In order to make this happen, we need your financial support. $5, $10, it doesn't matter. But we need your help. All right, we're well, Wait, thank you, man. Going, appreciate man. it so much, man. Everybody I appreciate it, man. Then you guys, you guys know that people are busy getting the work done. We so many here. people talk about this and talk about that. We're not talking about it. Right. We're actually being about it. We're getting it done. So Absolutely. looking forward to talking to you guys. See you on the next one. See you on the next one. Thank you all very much. Right. Let's get this guy on the camera. This guy is good, right here. Get on the camera. Just talk about HVAC. We're going to send my people through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Alright, Dominique Adeshla, HR Director at HRAP. Um, we're doing great things here, um, great things for the community, great things for our youth. Um, we're making sure that we're giving back to our community, um, starting a grassroots project, um, ensuring that the youth are given the tools and the strategies that they require in order to be able to not only find an opportunity, an employment opportunity for themselves, but two, to keep an employment opportunity for themselves, and as well as three, to be able to move on from any employment opportunity that they have when they come to the point in their lives that they see other further opportunities that can further their success and their productivity. Um, we're here to provide them with access to individuals that have a breadth of knowledge, whether it's human resources, whether it's human capital, whether it's legal services, um, 
We're here to help them. Um, we provide stipends to the kids. We make sure that they have all the support that they need um, from both both genders, from males and females, um, that are actually individuals that have roots right here within um, Washington, D.C., in Ward 8, in yeah, Ward 7. Right? All right. And I'm going to turn down again. Dominica Deshla, our director here at HRAP. Um, one of the things that we're doing is definitely ensuring that we're giving back to our community. Um, we're ensuring that not only the youth know only about how to um, apply for employment opportunities, we also ensure that they also know how to maintain their employment opportunities. Um, we're making sure that we teach them about employment law, um, telling them about how to um, navigate through applicant tracking systems. These are essential um, skills and abilities that you need in the new modern age of seeking employment opportunities. And not only are we informing them of how to apply for opportunities, how to maintain opportunities, we're also showing them how they can leverage their current employment to seek further opportunities for themselves as well, to better themselves in the future, and also encouraging them to be entrepreneurs in their own right. Um, not only do they have to work for someone, but they may want to work for themselves, which may be advantageous to them down the line. Um, so we're doing all of this. Um, we're making sure that we're giving back, and we're hoping that we can get the support from as many people as we can to keep things going and do things bigger and better in the future. Appreciate it. And I'm really excited about our organization and this event. So Human Resources is a cheaper program. What we work on doing is how do we break the school curriculum the pipeline. So a lot of times you see a lot of kids that fall through the crap. They end up in prison. They end up on the streets. Sometimes they end up just where they don't want to be in life. And we thought about how do we catch the children? How do we make sure that we set kids on the right path? And so that is what the organization is all about. So we've been incorporated as a nonprofit for about four years now. And so we have small classes that come out and break all the barriers. So that that means that we have rides so they can get on the bus. If that means that we feed them everything that might be a barrier for their success, we try to break that down. We also pride ourselves that we don't take any of the funds ourselves for staff. So all of us have a full-time job, and we do this just because we're really passionate about what we're doing. We're passionate about breaking the school prison pipeline, and we know that that work is hard. We're going to have to roll up our fees, we're going to have to do hands-on work with the community, and so that's what we're about. So if you're interested in being a part of the organization, there's so many ways you can do that. You can go to our website, you can buy donate. Anything that you want to do to add to our organization, we greatly appreciate it. And just know that greatness is not a measure of who you are, but the impact you have on each other. And let's be great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so you're going to hear, you're hearing it from them, right? And so we need your support. We need money. We need time. We need your skill. We need all those different things. We just need you to share this information out to the people that's out there. So when you see this, I just want you to know that you are planting in the lives of young people who, when they walk out those doors, what they see is just too much uh, uh, negativity. And we want to give them some hope. We want to help them see possibility and um, you know, work it out to the point that they know that they have somebody in their corner. So looking forward to uh, hearing from you guys. Looking forward to you guys to uh, message me. Inbox me, comment, post, uh, share, whatever you need to do to get the word out about HRAP. Looking forward to seeing you guys on the next post. Take care, God bless. Have a great night.